Shalom. Assalamu alaikum, my friends. So a lot of Christians and Jews don't even know about this. And this is very important for Christians and Jews to know about the Muslim. So I'm going to explain to you Muslims this. When, I, when, when God establishes me of what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this pact. And I'll show you this pact uh, at the end of my video. I'm going to remove this pact and then I'm going to come after anybody who practices this. If you're a Muslim and you practice this, I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to destroy you. You understand? And I'm and I'm going to destroy you. Watch. Watch. You think it's funny? You want to sit around and make fun of people? You want to sit around and try to say I'm not who I claim I am? Then you will reap that which is so. Assalamu alaikum. Now here as we read the Pact of Umar, it's not an important historical document to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Now these people, they come to America. As you read, even today Christians are required to pay a safety tax. Look at these Muslims coming to a Christian world thinking that they're going to have rights and say so's and all this other shit. Meanwhile, the way they treat Christians in Muslim nations, fuck them. Fuck them. You people understand that this is exactly how they overthrow democracies because they expect you to treat them different than the way that they actually treat you in their nation. When they go to other Christian worlds and NATO nations, they, they want to be have rights and freedoms and liberties and be treated all this other manner. But you go to their nation, they don't do such things. Yet they still believe in their radical bullshit. Fuck them, man! Now before I show you the actual pact, I want every Christian and Jew to understand something. Back in the days of Rome, remember when they used to feed the believers to lions? Never, ever forget what we had to suffer due to evil men. Never forget that. So I'm warning you Muslims, and I'm telling you Muslims, that are radical and you reject the Son of God just because a book says something, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. This is going to be the only warning that you'll get. So your pressure will come upon you, Kevars, who deny gods, not men, and sacrifice. Tick-tock, what's up? Now, there is the actual pact, and you read it yourself, you'll see it is full of bullshit. Foul practices. Now I want to remind everybody, I don't practice religion. I don't give a fuck about Sharp. I don't give a fuck about Constantinople, and nor do I give a fuck about Istanbul. Because that is where all these mainstream religious concepts, beliefs, and interpretations all stem from to begin with. So now you understand me and why I despise any treat people in foul manners based upon religion. Fuck religion. The human is way more valuable than any fucking building, than any fucking shirt practice you do, or any fucking rituals you have. And you sit around and you treat one another like Cain and Abel. Fuck you people. Fuck all of you. That's where my mind frame sets, and that's my army's mind frame as well. Do you understand now, motherfuckers? You see, rulers, kings and queens and scribes and all these so-called Nakash scholars tell you what you should and shouldn't think and how you should and shouldn't interpret it. What if they are wrong, 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 wrong? And clearly you hear my interpretations of different scriptures, and you know for a fact that they were wrong. You see, Cain and Abel brought forth things that God had created. And now, God himself gave a lamb that he spoke into existence. And that is 
Nutman.